On the issue of Crimea and eastern Ukraine, do you now see this as, say, the last focus before a greater conflict actually breaks out? Absolutely. Absolutely. The Zionists have experienced their first major defeat since the uh, Zionist movement was created in 1897. The loss of Crimea and the manner in which they lost it and Russia gained it makes Russia far more powerful today than she was before they started their agitation to change the government in Ukraine. Russia is now admirably placed after the Armageddon for a naval assault on Constantinople. And that of course is advantageous for those who are opposed to the state of Israel. They are now suffering another humiliating defeat in Ukraine. They cannot intervene militarily and provoke <laughs> a world war over eastern Ukraine because the conditions on the ground in terms of publicity are too advantageous, too favorable to Russia. <laughs> so Russia is already winning the struggle in eastern Ukraine. And out of this will emerge a Ukraine which will have to be very docile and which can never join NATO. Not possible. No. The Zionists would conclude that if they do not respond, the pendulum will be swinging against Israel in the world. So they'll have to contrive some kind of a strategy which will allow them to finally wage war with Russia. I don't know what the strategy is. I don't know. But if I were to offer a word of counsel to Russia, it would be to declare that NATO is now a hostile force that consequent upon the disbanding of the Warsaw Pact there was a hope in Russia that they would be able to build an accommodation with NATO. Recent events make it clear that that is no longer possible and that Russia has to recognize NATO as a hostile force and therefore all the neighbors of Russia who become NATO member states must now be recognized as partners in that hostility. You cannot expect to have normal relations with Russia while you are a member of a hostile military pact. It uh, pushed Russia to do greater trade with Iran, in fact. A trade can continue even with your enemy, Morris. So, the fact that these countries have become members of NATO uh, does not mean that Russia should not continue to have trade relations with them. Russia has trade relations with Western Europe, with Germany, with France. So, trade relations continue. But I'm talking about other relations, political relations. Yeah.